Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Sandra here again with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking all about YouTube thumbnails. This is going to be like a step-by-step -step guide on how to design your custom thumbnail using Canva. Along the way, I'll share some tips and hacks on how to make the best possible YouTube thumbnail you can make for your video. And then we'll finish things off with a demonstration on how to upload your finished custom thumbnail to YouTube. So if you're ready for all of that, keep watching, but make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this one and to like this video if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you did too. Let's jump into it. The ideal first step is to actually do research before you start creating your thumbnail. I don't always do this. Sometimes I just jump right in and start creating the thumbnail but this is the ideal way to do it to do some research beforehand and i'm going to go ahead and jump onto the computer to show you exactly what i mean all right so here we are on youtube and first you're going to search for the video title you're going to create so right now i'm creating a how to make a youtube thumbnail and what i want to do here is look through all of these thumbnails that other people have created i want to look for ideas and inspiration on what i could create myself but at the same time I want to find a way to make my thumbnail different Look for the colors that all of these people are using and try to avoid those colors just to keep from blending in with everyone else and to make your thumbnail stand out and just have some sheet of paper beside you and write down or kind of sketch out what you'd like to create and this just makes it so much easier when you get to the actual creation process because you already have an idea of what you'd like to make and you're also ensuring that it's going to be different and stand out the the second thing that you want to look at and do research about is if you're going to use text on your thumbnail, what text are you going to use? So looking at what these thumbnails say on their text and maybe even the titles, you want to look for maybe like two or four words to put on your thumbnail as text. No more than five because once you put too many words on a thumbnail it starts to look crowded you can hardly read what it says aside from youtube though you can also go to somewhere like pinterest.com and search for your youtube title here too and just look through all of these images and you're basically looking for the same thing some inspiration on what you'd like to create and some text or copy that you'd want to use on your thumbnail and then go to google and do the same thing and just scroll down and look at all of these videos and all of these blog posts that that people have done before on your topic and you're looking for words that jump out at you or any images that you see to use and like put a spin on it put your own twist on it okay now that you've done your research and you kind of have an idea of what you want the next step is to take your thumbnail photo you can use stock photos from sites like pixabay or pexels or even the uh, sites like canva you can use those and sometimes I do that but it's always better to have a human element in your thumbnail so when you can go ahead and do that take your photo just one tip before you take the photo is to be mindful of the bottom right corner of your thumbnail that is where YouTube puts their timestamp to show how long the video is so you definitely don't want any text or any important information to be down on that bottom right hand corner so go ahead and take your photo and then we'll get on to the next step once you've got your picture you're ready to go and start creating your thumbnail and there are many ways that you can go about this you can use your phone and use apps like PixArt, PicMonkey or Canva and I've done some tutorials on how to do that how to create thumbnails on your phone and I'll leave them linked down in the description below but today I'm just going to be using Canva on my computer and I'm also going to be using a background remover to remove the background off my photo so let me jump back into the computer and show you how I'm going to go about that the first thing I have to do is take this SD card out of my camera and put it into my computer so that I can get my pictures and my camera is a Canon, so here it shows the files. I'm going to go ahead and tap on DCIM and tap on today's date. And then here are my images, and I'm just going to look through them and choose the best one. 
This is the one I'll be using. I'm going to tap and hold and drag it over to my downloads just so it's easy to find. X out of this and now I'm going to search on Google for background eraser. And there are a bunch that you can use, but I think that this is the one I always use, remove.bg. Click on upload image, and I'm going to go ahead and upload this there. Click open, and it just automatically removes the background for you. Um, if you want to edit it, you can. Just click on edit. And here you can choose to blur your background instead like this. You can even choose a photo down here as your background or a color. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a transparent image. So this is all that will download just me without the background. And then I can go ahead and do some edits on Canva. But first I'm going to erase this little part right here because it automatically removes the background. Sometimes it does make mistakes and this is part of a plant. So I want to go ahead and remove that so that it doesn't look like that's a patch of hair or something. So I'm going to click on erase and restore. Make the brush size small so that I have more control and go ahead and erase this part. You can also zoom in here by clicking this plus button just so that you can see what you're doing better. And if you accidentally erase something that you want back, just switch this over to restore and use your brush to restore that area. So I'm going to restore a little bit of the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and click download here. Click download again. Now I'm here in my Canva account. I'm going to go ahead and create my thumbnail and I may be moving a little bit fast through this process. But again, if you want to see in-depth tutorials on how to use Canva, whether it be on your computer, or on your phone, check out the description for those tutorials. Once we have the thumbnail created, the final step is going to be to add it to our YouTube video. So since I uh, created my thumbnail on Canva, it's going to be here on my Canva app. I just go to my designs and look for the thumbnail that I just created. Now we're going to need the YouTube Studio app. So we're going to go to Google Play Store search for YouTube and you're looking for this one that says YouTube Studio. Mine doesn't say download, it says open because I already have it, but just go ahead and download it, sign in and all that good stuff. And this is what it will look like more or less. And here you are going to be able to look at your analytics for your different videos, how well they're performing, even how well your thumbnails are doing and different stuff like that. Now I just went ahead and uploaded this video of my dog chasing a squirrel just so that I can show you how you would add a thumbnail to a brand new video. So I'm going to tap on that video. Then you're going to tap on that pencil icon on the top right hand corner. And then we have another pencil icon this time on the left hand corner. And that is going to give you the ability to change your thumbnail. Here we have three different still images that YouTube chose that you may like as your thumbnail, but then you also have this one that says custom thumbnail. So go ahead and tap on that one. And then here are the thumbnails that I downloaded from Canva. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the one that I want. Tap on select on the top right corner and save. And now that will be the thumbnail of your video. And that is how easy it is to upload your custom made thumbnail to YouTube using your phone. And that concludes this video. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you found it helpful down below. If you have any future uh, requests for different tutorials you want to see, make sure to leave that in the comments too. 
Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And thank you so much for watching.